Well, we're back in the shop again today to look at another kit. Now, this is the other half of the Phoenix kit we covered in the last episode. That was kit was specifically for the DIT manager and data offloader. This is for the DIT. And it's got the name Dragon for a reason. So this kit, Dragon, differentiates itself from the kit we looked at the other day, Phoenix, in that this is the full-on high horsepower DIT kit. This needs to be able to cut through 4K footage, 8K footage, raw formats at blistering speeds to keep up with what we do on a daily basis. Plus, it needs to transcode files for post into various codecs. Now, if you're working at Avid, it would be an MXF file. If you're working on Resolve or Premiere, probably ProRes files. But we need to cut through those things really fast with the audio synced and minor color correction. We want something that throws fire out the ports and therein why we call it Dragon. Now the box it's in was chosen specifically for its size and its format and its stackability. But this is really a roadie case for rack mounted gear like amplifiers. Now we're not gonna use the rack mounts that are inside of here, but we are going to use the case's overall design and rigidity to suspend the computer in such a way that it can take some abuse on set. Now, we don't always get to move our gear around. People like to help us, maybe a camera PA that's not really cognizant of this stuff is kind of fragile. And so it's gotta be a little bit you know, well, like the people who handle your luggage at the airport. Uh, it's got to be able to withstand that on a daily basis, putting it on carts, hand holding it, rolling across awful terrain, indoors and outdoors in the back of trucks and so forth. Well, you probably know the drill. If you don't know the drill, you'll know it pretty fast. Now, the connections on this box are really important and how it connects to things and how we've set the connections up to make it easy to work on set and keeping this case enclosed so that it's pretty much weatherproof. And in fact, as you see it right here, this is how it sets on set. Now there'd be an extra monitor that goes along with this, a very expensive color correct, color grading monitor, because the DIT, again, does color correction. Not color grading, but color correction. We need something that's very accurate for the DP to look at. So without further ado, let's dig into the inside of this box and look at the computer and how it's all put together. So the front cover has a fan that brings air into the case. And when we take off the front cover, we can see the rack mounts for the case here on both sides that we're not going to use. Instead, we chose to suspend this ATX computer using common packing foam blocks. Now this isn't the bead foam, this is the expanded foam blocks and it's all the way around the case, and it's also front and back. So this thing is totally suspended inside of the case. Now, on this side of this box, or this computer box, we have our USB 2 ports. Everything clearly marked so we know what they are. We have a headphone jack, we have Wake the Dragon, and we have the USB 3 port coming off the bottom. Okay, air in this case moves from the front side, through the case, and out the back. On the side of the case, we have through ports that are weather and dust resistant. The top three are ethernet connections, the 10 gigabit to the array and the one gig to the Phoenix. And there's an additional one gig port for hardwire internet connection. Under these is a USB three and HDMI combo port and a second dual USB three connections. The beauty of this arrangement is you don't have to open the case to hook stuff up. So before we get into the back of this computer and all the wiring back here, let's talk a little bit about the computer itself. Now, it's a full ATX motherboard that's in a case that's barely big enough to fit it because we needed to fit it inside of this case. Again, we want as small a footprint on set as we can, and we also want something that's easy to carry around. Now, inside of that case is an ASUS gaming motherboard with an i7 six core processor that hyper threads to 12 cores. So a lot of processing power that can be used by the software. 
the got 32 gigs of RAM memory. That's about all you really need for the operating system and for the various programs we use. This is running the Macintosh Mojave operating system. Now I know there's newer operating systems out there for Macs, but you definitely, when you're making a Hackintosh, want to pick something that's stable and mature uh, so that the system itself is well supported and runs pretty flawlessly. Now the only downside to this system is that it only has two card slots. We'll talk about those in a minute. And it doesn't have Thunderbolt. And that's a limitation of the motherboard itself. Along the top rear of the case is the 10 gigabit Ethernet router. The right ports are 10 gig and the left ports are 1 gigabit speed. So the NAS hooks to the 10 gigabit ports and the Phoenix and other connections go to the 1 gigabit side. So we come down, we have our Wi-Fi antennas. We have a power strip down here at the bottom that uh, gives power to our fans, our 12 volt power supplies. Off the motherboard are several USB 3C ports and audio out for headphones. The two open card slots are filled with a Radon ATI 580 card for the GPU processing and a 10 gigabit LAN card for fast data transfers. So as you can see, it's kind of an unassuming case. You can't tell the book by its cover on this one. A lot of horsepower inside of this to cut through your daily work as a DIT. Now the box on the other side over there is a shared drive array. It's shared between the two boxes through Ethernet. So that means that the data manager or the DIT, if they're doing both tasks, can be offloading files, saving them to the array, and as soon as they're saved, as soon as they're ready, then the DIT can suck them into here and do what a DIT does. Minor color correction, sound syncing, prepping those files to get them out to post for editorial as fast as possible. That's where the horsepower comes in. So you're not waiting for one computer to do both jobs. It's split between both of them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of a couple of very successful and battle-worn DIT kits. And, and as always, you know, if you like these, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can be kept up to date on things. But until next time, hope to see you on set. Thank you.